My mic should be working now. My mic should be working now. Yeah, I can hear you. Who else is going to be here besides? I don't think Paco's coming. Three. Three. Sims lied to me. Sims how lied to me. That's how he. That's how he is. Sims lied to me. Paid to me in doing this. Paid to me in doing this. <laughs> What um <clears throat> what clown team is this? What um <clears throat> what clown team is this? What um I just had their freaking what team is this? thing open, let me find I it. just had their freaking BOL thing open. I see that. I don't know who our BOL, BOL team. We should really label our teams and like their team names. Oh, we should really we should... label hang our on, teams gotta... and like their team names. Oh our heck. Really I got our... I got I forgot to mute stream, so I was getting the echo. Uh, custodians. 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 And what elo is this? Do you know? Gold. It's bo. It's gold. Bo gold. Okay. Like gold, like currently, or gold from like last year. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't even ask me. I have no clue. I am. I'm in <laughs> leagues right now, and I have no idea how that. So I know, this. like, we're, like, in a plat league, but we're all emerald, so it's, like... I uh, I have no clue. I, I, I don't know what's going on anymore. I don't either. Yeah. Absolutely no clue. <clears throat> I can't wait for somebody to join and then just find out how horrible the audio balancing is and it's going to be great. Oh, I could join. Hang on. That should be helpful. Watch me just be like screaming loud. Oh gosh. Screaming loud and then you're like super quiet. I'll let you know in 30 seconds after the commercial. Sam's really trying to get that, get that check. I mean, he just spent a lot of money, so... That is true. <clears throat> that is very true. Test, test. Hello. We're a little quiet, I think. I'll just turn that up then. Just a tad, though. Just a tad. Okay. We'll go there. We'll try that. Trying that. All right, I'm good. You're you're really quiet. I'm not you're you're not really quiet. But you're quieter than me, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, I'll I'll turn my mic up a little bit. We'll see if that does it. I 
Okay. So what leagues are you in at the moment? I am in an LBLCS. Um, what is it? Financial? I think it's financial. Uh, are you playing with uh, CH? No. Or um, Clown or it. Soul? IT. Yeah, I know another team. I just forget who's on it. It's a <laughs> Dragonic, Thick Bob, Karthik. Okay. 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 I, know, I, know, I know who it is. Yeah. Okay, cool. Nate GG. Is that like a point cap league? Like yeah. you have like each. Yeah. It's 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 predominantly like mid low old plat, but now I mean it just it's so all over the place. Are you guys having fun? You like it? Uh I mean our first three weeks were the top three teams in our league, so we went 03. But so far oh. we've won out against the, the bottom teams, so it's like a little in between. Started out rough, but now we're playing the bad teams, so it's it's going a lot better now. But there's a there's a wide gap between the top teams and the bottom teams. Which is always fun. We tied for first in our group. The three way tie for first place. Nice. And um Aegis. Or AGL. Nice, nice. Oh, just probably copy. But like you right. said, oh, they're starting. Oh shit. I don't know if they are. I'm gonna try to join there. I'm gonna at least join the lobby. Alright, let me add you real quick. <clears throat> Where are you? Are we already already have you added? Do I? Yep. Oh yeah, I see you. Never mind. Oh shit, there's a master player in here. What the fuck? Uh, I thought that was gold. It is. <laughs> Let's, we'll, we'll, we'll do a quick op.gg check. BU Midnight. Ah, that's def that is a pro. That's that must be the coach. That is an actual master player. 41 win master player. What the fuck? Yeah, that, that's that's not a, that's not a TFT master. That's them. That, that's got to be their coach. That's not a Batman. Oh, Sims is Sims is playing. What? Yeah, yeah. That's that's why he's oh, not. The fuck? <laughs> that's why he's not streaming. Oh, this looks like a. Uh, this this looks weird. They got an Emerald three player with thir fourteen wins. That's means he's pretty decent. Actually, let me ask Sims for. <clears throat> Do you have the draft link? Oh, thank you. I just got it. So... Sims is the captain of this team? Are you kidding me? And who are they against? Uh, Hyperion Gaming. Hyperion. Oh, we scrim these guys. I shouldn't uh, talk about. Should shouldn't leak the, the results. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But I, I remember this team now. Tax collector. I, I remember him. I collected his taxes a few times. Ha, okay. <clears throat> okay. There, there, there they go. See, I told you. I told you it, it wasn't a uh, an actual masters player. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Let me see if I can go back and look for the the scrim results. I wonder who won this game. I think they scrimmed it a bunch of times.
That doesn't work. Okay. The search tool in Discord is really crap. Oh, here it is. Yeah, it is. 100... 105 messages. Okay. Oh, oh god, it's just too okay. So yeah, okay, looking looking at the uh the standings, it looks like Crown Crown Gaming Custodians are currently one and two. Uh but they're tied for fourth out of eight being one and two. Hyperion are currently 0 and 3. So I against this it's... team, we banned out the Gragas, Leona, Nocturne, J4, and Vigar. It's like their main pool and then <clears throat> Yeah, it's we'll like we banned that every game. We'll have to see if uh Sims agrees with those bans or not. Well, the, oh, this is the Orn player that Sims face. I mean, okay, this is the Orn player Sims is talking about, I think. Or the Alawi player, I forget which. Either way, like, Sims is very uh, fond of playing Quinn into that, so I guess we'll see if they ban the Quinn from a dear old Sims. Okay, looks like we are into draft phase now. <laughs> I'm gonna... Forgot the actual tent for the graphic, it's hilarious. Oh, it's an incredible graphic. Absolutely incredible. Yo, know, we're, we're rotating. Oh, yeah. We, we made the this. best. So the... so the clown clowns are on the blue side and Hyperion is red side. Throwing out a poppy ban. Oh, there's the Quinn ban. Look at yeah. that. Yeah, baby. Sims ban that Quinn. Man. No one wants to see that trash champion in this game. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to agree. What did with I you. say? <laughs> as a as a as a top laner, um, I'm right there with you. I'm not sure if uh, the clowns did their homework very well. They're they're, they're banning champions that uh, the enemy team doesn't really play. Not yet. Oh wait, there's the J4 ban. Okay. Oh, these are some these are fast walk-ins. Holy cow! So the, uh, the oh to... my Lanta. Okay, slow down, guys. So the power pick Kaisa oh. goes first. And the power pick Nocturne. Hyperion likes playing Nocturne. I'm surprised to let that through. Their jungler does like that. The tax collector will be collecting his money. Ivern. Oh, yikes. The tree has come. Although, I, I don't know if I should have shown Ivern this early, personally, just because uh, like it's more of a utility and... Like we don't know what the both teams want to like play yet, so that means they're gonna have to have a high damage either AD or AP coming from top or mid. Because do you know anything about AP Kaisa? Is this still a thing? Like I've I've seen people try to play it, but I don't know how good it still is. Or my isn't. take, it's still absolutely broken. If you get to three items, it's disgusting. I think I think Nocturne's pretty disgusting too, to be honest. Yeah, I I mean it Nocturne can invalidate that by just, you know, pressing R, so Wait, can Kaisa ult during Nocturnal? As long as she got I mean it's 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 around the passive. If you have the passive proc on it. It shouldn't shouldn't do anything with vision. I know it pops Shin ult, so I don't know. Well, I mean, you just—I mean, if you're if you're in range to see the enemy and you have a passive proc, you'd be able to do it. 
Otherwise, right, right. no. <laughs> what? You waste some bait on the mouth. Like, come on, guys. Sim doesn't play real champions, okay? You gotta. You gotta ban his Orn. All right, that's the only real champion he plays. I say that, but he has a Malphite game. Wow, I'm I'm, I'm I'm terrible. He has a singular Malphite game. Wow. You call yourself an oh. analyst or caster. There's the there's the orange. See, I told you he, they banned the. Although they left his Mordekaiser up, <clears throat> his Mordekaiser and his Shin, the classic Sim Shin where he he steals all the kills for himself. So. I think he just goes a tank top lane and they pick the heavy AD mid um, to try to... The problem with AD mid, though, is they pick a Swain. So, like, Swain's pretty good in the most AD champions mid lane. Um, that's a pick. Renekton is the most balanced champion top lane at the moment. If you haven't known, if you've not seen top lane Renekton, it is... Yeah. It is really strong. Uh, it can I mean, only one v four, all right. It can only one v four, one v five. No, no, no. Only one v four. That's about the limit of it. So, but yeah, I mean, Shen, Shen's solid into it. Yep, there it is. So, I what the heck? I actually like. Oh my god, what what in tarnation? Is it <laughs> is that Kenan mid? It has that... to be unless it's. Is he a kid in mid uh, or kid in I feel, like we're, I feel like we're getting excited over a hover. This feels like a hover. I okay. Don't, I don't think this is good here. It out. Uh, okay. That's a yeah. kid in. I, I think Clown Gaming dropped the ball on this draft. Did it, does the Custodians have a coach? Do they? Is it his name's not um Django? Is it? I have no clue. I. It's so I don't know. What what is this? A, well, what, what, Anivia. So it's Swain support or Anivia support? One of the two, I guess. Yeah, I'd imagine Swain. Swain and Abram is that that's a pretty decent matchup. I mean, I think Swain and Kenan's a decent matchup too. I mean, but so is Anivia. So. Yeah, I, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. You know what? I'm just gonna say let let's just see how it plays out. I I don't I don't want to judge. Um, I think this is going to be one of those 50 minute games. Yeah, Titan I is mean, the coach. Oh, if, if, if Nocturne Renekton get rolling, like, uh, I, I think there might be some issues, but, um, because they, I mean, I mean, they got the tools to defend it. They got the, the, the Shin T, the Shin Ol, the Braum, and the Ivor to protect this Kaisa. Yeah, I, I, um, I've got to agree with you. Um, I don't know. I I actually don't know what to think about this. <laughs> I mean, it's. I think it's gonna happen either one. I think it either it's gonna be a fifty minute brawl, or it's gonna be one of the teams just like land sliding over the other. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, if it's I don't actually I don't think it, I think it's just gonna be one team wins hard. I think that's what's gonna. It has to be that because like. Uh, this is NA gold. We're gonna get Bro. we're gonna get an absolute banger. I I, I believe K throws counter throws. Counter, yeah, we call this NA gold, throws. but this is there's only two gold players in this entire lobby, and there's one on each team. Okay. So can we really call NA gold anymore? <laughs> I listen. Riot doesn't know what they're doing. They're they're remo they are moving pings. There's there's no more pings. So I think I think in, in in this in this apocalyptic state that this game is in, every everyone is gold. You're gold, I'm gold. Faker is gold. Hey man, i I've been plat for Elo City for like five years, okay? Project Bash <laughs> NA is gold. Lame. Den's about to be diamond though. Yeah, that that he is, that he is. <laughs> What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, he's a Quinn abuser.
128 Quinn games, you know? That's 128 too many. 60% win rate. I said what I said. You know, something really funny, actually, is in uh, AGL, there's a 80, 88% ban on my one trick so far, ASOL. I have two games on it, both wins, but it seems like if you just farm a champion in solo queue, the enemy teams in this league, they just, they just ban it out every game, no matter what happens, they just ban it out every time. Leaving picks for everybody else, like my top player, Tigzy, by every week held with different champion spams in solo queue and they ban it every time. Like he's been playing GP a lot, so they ban GP. But yeah, he's like a Kennen one trick. So this it's funny. But in Sim's case, though, he can only play three champions. So they should just ban the all three cha champions out. I'll remember that if I ever play Tigzy. Ban Kennen. Yeah, he can ban Kennen. He's been having a lot of fun on Cassante. But I think they're reworking him soon, right? In 320 or 1320? Yeah, I'm I'm as a Cassante enjoyer myself, I'm I'm very intrigued to see what, what they actually do to him. The set. I actually like him. Like I think it's like I think it's a fun champion to play with. Maybe not again. I mean I don't I don't know. So, so, so it's, his main issue is that he's not like phenomenal in solo queue, but he's like super high presence in pro. And so it's like, how do you, how do you remove what's good in pro, but buff him in solo queue? Yeah, I, I get that. Like, but I think that's what makes him a good champion. Cause there's other champions like that, that are bad in low elo and non-competitive, but yet thriving competitive and high elo, right? Like. Look at Jace. I mean, Jace is, I think Jace is still pretty good in low elo, but like, he's even better in high elo and pro. So, I, 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 but I think it's more of a, it's not like a skill issue though. Like, you think his kit is overloaded for team, for team play? So, so Cassante's win rate in Masters Plus is 50%, or sorry, in just Master Tier is 50%. Then, okay. Well, if I can get. In diamond, you... it's forty nine. So I mean, it's it's he definitely is a like you have to get better at him. But then it's like grandmaster, it's forty six percent, masters plus fifty. So it's I don't know. He definitely you can't just pick him up, but I mean, what's my champion win right now? I mean, look, probably isn't that high. I just don't know how because I feel like a lot of people enjoy playing Cassante. Like the yeah. like the skill expression is there and that's yeah. something people really, really like. And to see that if they were like gut that, people would be really pissed. I mean they're removing the the top W, which kinda sucks. <laughs> so According to Solo Q, my champion ASOL should be buffed. It's only got a 46% win rate in Masters. Sample side is not large enough. <clears throat> um, <laughs> cool. Tigsy was telling me I, I, I need to play more uh, meta champions. They, actually, they just want to play Victor. I, I hate that champion. Okay. I hate playing it. I hate using the E. I just hate everything about that champion. I'm right I've never played Victor you. before. It's so like even facing it and playing it, it's it's not fun it for anyone. No, no. <laughs> it's a sucky champion. Like it, it feels so like clunky. Yeah. Yep. I honestly so so I, I feel the same way about Olaf. I don't like like his E feels so clunky to me. I think I think Briar is just a better Olaf, <laughs> personally. It's just like 
she's Olaf, but he can't fuck her up because she auto att- she attacks automatically. You don't have to. You can't cancel autos on her. So I she love, just runs you down and kills you. I love Briar so much. Such a good champion. Loved how wise Pat passed. Is the, is the nerf that bad? No, no, no. I love. She's a good champ. Okay, okay. I like her. I want to play her. I I bought her on my Smurf. Um, but I don't have the. I I spent all my blue essence on fucking chibi. Uh, <laughs> summoner icons. <laughs> With the blue essence emporium. Uh huh. Honestly, the blue essence emporium let me down this time. How how old do you think about that? Uh, I mean, I got a few decent chromas, so I'm not complaining. My my shop was sucky this time. It was bad. It wasn't a but single like, skin that looked all right. I thought in the past they like released like a bunch of chromas. That it seems very like a lot less amount of chromas this time around. Like there were no like. There were no no fury chromos, no soul. I guess I, I get that. There's no soul. What is it called? Soul fighter. No soul fighter chromos that I saw. Kind of lame. I love the fury. I I wish she, they would buff her. But I, I, I. It's like they made an assassin, but they turned her into like an anti bruiser champion. Who can still assassinate, but not as I don't know. She's just a weird champion. Alright, let's see here. Who's who's got the champion masteries? Whoa! This said Nivea has got eight hundred K Nivea points, bro. It's gonna be it's a lot of it's a lot of champion mastery. Are you in the game? Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Oh, excellent hit mute. Uh, so we j- just now getting into game. 30 seconds until minions spawn. Yep, excellent muted myself. No worries. Both bot lanes taking exhaust this game, by the way. <clears throat> Standard five point from both teams. I, I think I give the edge of this game to to Hyperion just because their their comp is a lot easier to execute than Custodians. Yeah, um, I just I I think I think I would like left side comp more if it wasn't for the cannon. Like I will find out. We'll find out if the cannon works. I'll eat my own words, but. I just, I don't know how it, it's, I don't know how it goes into a, an Anivia Swain. With the Nocturne, I'm sorry. Nocturne Jungle. Is it not, I feel like the Nocturne Jungle could just come mid. Yeah. That is a six Sim skin, or it's a Shen skin. Ashen Black. Graves or Ashen Knight, whatever it is. Yeah, it's pretty fucking badass. I I can zoom out the spectator. Forgot about that. The zoom out is just uh, shift control Z. Yep. Okay. Yep. Zoom out a little bit. Oh, ignore me. Wait, is this an AD cannon? With the uh, coal, or is that normal no. for AP cannon too? No, nah, you can. Yeah, he's. Sometimes you want AD on cannon. It helps <clears throat> helps you bully earlier. I don't know how much that's gonna actually play a part part here, but. Renekton doing Renekton things right now. If that was my top laner, he would have already tried to kill and die under the tower. <laughs> oh, first gank of the game, here it comes. Oh, never mind. 
tragedy. I mean, I've only faced like one or two kind of mids in the last like year or two. I mean, they were both pretty, pretty good. Oh, Did first blood first going. Blood. Oh, the Kaisa. Oh, but they, they got the prompt. Oh, Brom, sir. That was a that was a flash. You know, that's been really disappointing that I just now realized hmm. that I should have realized from the beginning. Is uh this Kaisa? Her name is Adishan, right? Uh huh. He's actually on my team too. <laughs> He's a sub <laughs> for my for the uh, Spartans. I'm sorry, my friend. Who is best? Okay, well, we're still having minimal action. I'm gonna... That is blasting my ears right now. <clears throat> Even with that first blood going down, Ash is still keeping up in CS and does have that coal, so... If she can keep doing well, I think that first blood won't matter too much. Um... So she wants the Swain get going a little bit. <laughs> Ivern's still yet to recall. A little bit troll, but we'll see what he's when he's cooking. He's also down CS too. Like Nocturne just wants to power farm, so um, I, I don't know. I think Nocturne could look top here. Um, We've got vision of him though. They know he's on top. He's in top river. I think he's still do it though, just just to push Sims back, give Renekton some ability to freeze this lane. So we get a drive by mid and then another engaged bot with the Ivern game. That is uh another kill to Adi Sean. That's two now. Man, they're they're really trying to uh Clown Gaming is really focusing on powering up their bot lane, which is what they need to do. That was a very good spell shield by Nocturne. Comes the cannon ultimate. Oh, gets two double stun and the exhaust comes out. And a flash by Nocturne. Oh, the snipe from... Goes on. Oh my god. So there's the, the W snipe from Adishan plus the last tick of Ignite from Divinity takes the kill on the Nocturne. And yep. that goes with the dragon. I do just want to point out, Nocturne spell shielded an auto attack. Oh, I thought it was the root. No, no, no. He saved the root. That's unfortunate. Unless I completely misread that. No, I think you're right, because the, the root's like the big ball thing, right? Yeah. That he throws. Yeah. Oh, that... Oh, I didn't take the second turret shot. Toddy 2K, you know, playing with fire there as ultimate. <laughs> I'm gonna say, if, okay. I'm gonna say, if Sims lands the taunt under top, with Renekton under tower, it's kind of just GG. Sims failing to get that one CS there. Well, he's showing his lack of uh, champion diversity. <laughs> He's so used to playing that Quinn that he doesn't know how to CS with the tower. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. Sim's doing great. Oh, 
No, nope, missed that CS. I think the pressure's getting to him. <laughs> Them's all you have to do, man. Oh, knocked an ultimate going in on this Ivern. Doing a lot of damage. Will he get the kill though? Well played by Sims. Sims is in yeah. trouble. Okay. That was very well played by the Con Gaming top side. Managed to get out of that. Both of them alive. Sims played that really well. Dropping the W to keep the Ivern alive and then taunting on the way back. That was. Uh, yeah. He, he just made that... up for missing all that CS. I think that I think that taunt that oh, that I like, the as well. Oh my god, Renekton will, gaming. Will they be able to, okay, they're able to take down their Renekton. This uh -oh. might be and the now dash. In. Oh, not nope. quite. Doesn't quite have the damage. Uh, Braum? Not thinking, okay. oh, oh my goodness. Sh Again, Sims with the save. Yeah. Okay, okay. Are we... Okay, we're gonna miss the taunt. Doesn't have any backup. Okay, there's the backup. With the Ivern and the cannon. Does the cannon have ultimate? No, he does not, no, but he has the stun, the lands it. There's the egg. The egg, is this a surely dead Anivia? It comes the arrow. Oh, we're okay, gonna... this instantly. Oh, okay. There. There goes the Swain. Well, it looks like Tom Gaming is off to a banger start. It's like a uh, 2K Goldie, a little over 2K at 10 minutes, which is quite a mu quite a decent amount. And a dragon. A dragon is also worth about 2,000 gold stats. So you're looking at about a 4K effective gold lead, kind of. <clears throat> but 10 minutes here. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Ash keeps, this Ash keeps just slinking away. Mm -hmm. This Renekton does not have his uh, his little whip yet. So. Oh, he's going Bork. Oh, they're in a little trouble here. <laughs> oh. Okay. And that that was just because of the difference of the of the team gold, I think. I think if they were completely they... easy, I think Nivia wins that. Okay. You say that, but they're on equal gold. They're on equal items. He's got, the... He's got pen were... boots though. Pen boots versus lost chapter. So I mean, the amount of gold they had spent was the same. Okay, fair enough. Hopefully it's Anivia goes uh, Landry's and not Ludens like he did in my games. <laughs> it is the AD Kais of this game. Um, have you, okay, so here's a question for you. Have you seen some of the, the recent Kaisa builds? What are they going now? There's been a uh, Umbral Blade, uh, Dust Blade. Oh my god, Blade. Lethality? Oh no, no, because then it's <laughs> Nasher's third. What the hell? Yep. Kaisa's lead just the Katarina and Akali of bot lane. It's a weird build, everything. but we see a gank bot. The Swain ult's gonna come out. Ash ult as well, but it's not gonna matter. That Ash is another kill. And that's and gonna, gonna be... get the Nope. Shu takes it from the from the Kaisa carry. That's a little unfortunate, but at this point it doesn't really matter. It's nine to zero. That is a thirteen hundred gold lead in the eighty carry roll. Sims. Okay, Toddy. Toddy doing some work top lane. Oh, mid lane also oh, seeing... going up, but Sims wins oh. this, I think. Yeah. Wait, unless Q comes back up. See if, if he had the if he had whip, he wins this. Oh my God, he gets oh, a kill. Healing, yeah. The Vamp Scepter with the Q enraged Q is enough to save him. Yeah. <clears throat> But I feel like if he goes, if he's going Gore Drinker, he wins that so much harder.
I don't. I don't think this the uh, Shen Q blocks the uh, Gord, the, the 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 active. Does it? No. Shen Q. I mean, the shield would be what you'd be. Yeah, but you still get healing off of it. I think, right? Um. The off... damage. You still do the damage. The shield. Yeah, you just he wouldn't. I mean, he wouldn't be getting any healing from Iron Spike Whip. Hmm. With the exception so with... of like fully stacked passive. If he had fully stacked passive then or conqueror, then yeah. So does he go? So does this? Is this like a? Uh... What is this mythic he goes with? But Bork is it the uh, what you call it? Thunderer? Not Thunderer. Uh, the Garen thing. I forget what it's called. Stridebreaker? Yeah. Uh, he can. Uh, I mean, he can also just go Gore Drinker still. Um, I mean, Bork is a really good item on Renekton, um, but I, I'm, I, I agree with you. I think Gore Drinker or Stridebreaker would just be better this game. Insta proccing the Nivea egg here. Okay, cannon mid is. I'm just gonna have to eat my words there, I guess. We got a three on one here top lane. Sims is the masturbator. <laughs> the Q does land. He flashes the Brommel. And gets out. That is flash down for an Ecton. That's kind of huge. This Kitten is not to be trifled with. He is 4 and O. Oh. He's got a rocket belt and 10 boots. And he's also got two levels on this Nocturne, so... Is this a uh, best of three or best of five? Do you know? Should be best of three. <clears throat> BOL is typically best of three. Okay, the Nivea is going Landry's. That's good. Is Does Kaisa just kill? Yep, okay. Oh, oh, oh! The Nocturne nice. coming in hot. Nocturne ult saves the Ash and then gets a shutdown. I mean, there's still a world where they can come back in with Nocturne and Renekton, I feel like. Um, but will it be? Will they be able to pull that off in time before Crown Gaming takes every objective on the map? I think it's just insanely ahead. I think Sims is dead here. Body showing why Renekton is the most balanced champion in the game. He kills you and your tower at the same time. The only problem for Toddy, I think, is he doesn't have any MR for this this cannon. This cannon's just gonna like shoot through him so fast, and he yeah. does have ignite, so he can't just save it. If he saves his ignite for the Renekton, the whole. You know, with with the game that's been going on so far, I'm actually impressed that Hyperion is about to get two towers right now. Like that is very impressive. <laughs> oh, Hyperion! Oh, so unlucky. The Ivern Shield prevented Anivia from getting the kill. Uh, Hyperion have been yeah. very unlucky this game. They've had multiple close calls where they just lived on slivers of health. And there's a stride breaker for the Nocturne. Oh, Mega CS rip. Adi's shot in trouble right now. He's. Chunked about 10% HP. Landry's burn. Tower goes down. He gets out, but the Nivea is happy with the tower kill itself. Ha. 
Also, Hyperion has managed to stay relatively even and honestly ahead in the CS department overall. Um, comes the Nocturnal, mostly defensive. However, the Swain once again caught out of position. Yeah, the Ash is only down about 12 CS mid. It's pretty close in CS, but top lane CS is about a 50 CS gap. Top lane. Um, this Renekton needs to find a way to impact this game before it gets too out of his hands. Because there's enough CC from Clowns to uh, stop him before he gets going too much. You might mute yourself again. No, I just no. But yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> I wasn't the, sure because last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the, <laughs> the, so 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 Renekton is going Gore Drinker. Um, he just wanted the Bork to be able to side lane into the Shen a little bit better with that on hit damage. Percent current health damage. Honestly, I think clowns are fine with Sims dying because they're connected over and over. I don't think they care. Nope. Although it is kind of funny that Hyperion's got three towers to clowns one. With the gold lead like this. Although, if you look at the gold diff, uh, with these tower takedowns, Hyperion's actually gained a gold lead over clowns. Yep. I mean, that's the massive CS differences in top and jungle are a big part of that. But yeah, I mean, you can just see the Renekton absolutely... They're able to... Kai'Sa is able to force out the ult. Oh! There's the flash taunt from Sims. Yeah, that's all she wrote. So, so honestly, I, what, what this is show, what, what, what this like last 30 seconds, 45 seconds is showing, is that if Hyperion had played the early game a little bit slower and had, you know, not tried to, oh my goodness, go for as much things, they would be doing just fine. More than fine, they'd be way ahead. They would, because they're almost, they almost took two tier twos just now. Yep. Right. At, at 20 minutes, they could have, if they weren't so far behind everywhere else on the map, they could have either been pressed, they could have done bear on spawn. Um, a lot of things they could have done. I'm sure their, their coach will be going over this and like, hey, you're, you're playing a scaling comp, but let's not fight like this. That's what my coach be telling me. He's like, why are you, we, we discussed not to fight. Why are you fighting? Because we're gold. That's why. Yeah, but you can see this. Red? Two items. It's it's two items on top. Okay, Clown Gaming just gonna look for the sneaky Baron. On Vision, so Nocturne does have ultimate. This is definitely a Baron bait, but oh what? Yeah. We've also got an Hopefully. AP AP Ivern incoming. I think he's going a rocket belt. Uh, Didn't they that's... get rid of that interaction with Night Harvester? Yeah, they, they supposedly. I. Oh my God, we're next to damage. Okay, Ivern is pinging this Kim Drake, and so is the Nivea. Both teams. I think we're gonna have a big. I think this next fight at Kim Drake decides the game. If if Hyperion can either come out even and get the Drake or just oh oh going down mid lane with an Ash ult right onto 
Adi Sean, there it down goes to Kaisa. It's a shutdown of 150 to the Nocturne of all things. It's one of the worst champions to give it to because Nocturne can run away with this game. If he gets big enough, he can just do that over and over and over to Kaisa. I like how Hyperion is not giving up though. We get a brawl in the jungle. Nocturne flashes away. Here comes Renekton though, and to three people with his ultimate going. Hidden getting a kill on the Ash, while Renekton is still fighting 1v3. Finally, Renekton goes down 1v4. Takes four to kill Renekton, but the meanwhile, Ken does go down <clears throat> to the Anivia. That's that's a 700 gold bounty on to the Anivia. Now, Anivia is going down. This fight is taken by Clown Gaming decisively, and now goes the Dragon. This is going to be for Soul, Ken Tech Soul. It's a pretty decent fight. Fortunately, I think. I just think the bot lane and mid lane were too far behind. Renekton was 1v3, which is what he wants to do, but Cannon just was too too much and one shot the Ash before they could do anything, unfortunately. So once again, if their bot lane wasn't so far behind, or I don't know if I like the Swain pick anymore. To be honest with you. I think an Alistar would have been really good here, just to pump the cannon away. Not much is happening, guys. Just posturing, getting vision of Barons, the next objective. And they are forcing, Clowns are forcing the Baron here. Um, Shen is pinging his ultimate. Only 20 seconds left on that ultimate cooldown for Shen. A decent flank from Anivia. And there goes Swain. Oh, they're starting Baron back up. But now they don't have Nocturne Ultimate. So I think Baron is just forfeit unless Nocturne wants to Blast Cone for a steal, which... Does he get it? No, he does not. Dominance popped. Dragon's going in. 1v5. It's chunked. Ivern Shield saving the Braum here. Braum is literally on one health of life. <clears throat> While this 5v4 is going on top lane, Kennen is split pushing. Renekton is going to go respond to Kennen, but it might be too late. They might get this tower. Kenan will get this tower for it. I think it's spawn to it. Actually, I think Kenan might beat this one one without Renekton does enough ultimate. He should know this. And just yeah, just fight him, dude. There you go. And that's one dead Renekton. Meanwhile, top lane Sims does go down to Nocturne and friends. I'm not sure why Sims stayed solo. Maybe he was uh, trying to play the hero for a mood. I do that sometimes myself. Meanwhile, Kitten is getting a hit tower bot lane. So Kitten gets a kill and two towers. He's gonna finish the hourglass here. Yep, there it is. Kitten's now full build. 
Kong Gaming just needs one win, one team fight, one they end the game here. Hopefully, they can pull that off, and we can go in the next game. No, don't ping the elder. Just, just, just get a get a pick and end the game, guys. I I, I have faith. Got open hit bot lane. Go. Although I do understand them wanting to play solo because they don't want to throw their lead. Get it? But when you're this far ahead, I think you should just pull the trigger. You know Renekton's top lane without TP right now, so you should really push for a 5, 5v4 with the Shinar, in my opinion. <clears throat> Do not like Kitten split pushing here. He does not have TP. This is not best use of him, in my opinion. Especially when Soul is coming up very soon. Catch out the uh, the Nocturne here. Nocturne does blow the ulti, but it looks like he's going to go down. There goes Nocturne, and that will be the Elder Dragon in just a few moments. Uh, Hyperion Gaming is going to try to force down mid, get a, get a decent wave mid. But Pound Gaming has done one, none of that. They're coming for blood. I definitely didn't accidentally do the thing again. Uh, probably. See, I told you. I do not like Kitten split pushing. He does not have TP. Like, stop doing it. He he could have Kitten could have come down mid and got a sick flank, oak flank, and it would have been like GG. But for some reason, they want to play this really slow. Ah, uh, Kitten just brought a Doran's blade. He's had that for a little while. When did he pick up a Doran's blade? Um, I'm scrolling through. He picked up his first base. Weird. Okay. That's a dead Renekton. <laughs> Alright, clowns. Uh, they Let's don't have game. a wave. Their wave is very far away. They don't really need a wave. They just go. Yeah, just go in. That's it. Just, just force this. You have Elder. Just force it. You're so ahead. Ash is. Uh, is that a manor base? So if you're Hyperion, what do you change for game two? It kind of depends on the, the draft, but I feel like if they pick a cannon and a Kai'Sa type champion, like all-in champions, they need to pick a different support, like Alistar or Braum or or like a Poppy. A Poppy would have been huge this game, I think. Um, it's something to get these divers off their back line, because there, there was a dragon fight earlier, the soul dragon fight where they had a chance to win but because their their backline just got dove it uh okay so you you want to see some more protection for the backline sorry the, the little thing happened where it tabs you out um uh. yeah more protection or at least not not necessarily more protection, but like more protection early. Okay. Because the real problem in this game is, you know, the, the Kai'Sa and the the Kennen just got so far ahead that Renekton couldn't do anything against yep. them. Because like, as strong as Renekton is, he yeah he's he was one v three in that fight, in the by the enemy by a Clown Gaming's red buff, 
but the Hyperion backline couldn't deal with Cannon, basically Cannon, on his own. Yep. And I think that's because they honestly they had like almost no CC. Like they didn't have the Ash error, but if you miss, if you if you whiff that, and you don't get an Anivia stun, like you're you're kind of hosed. So with the with the Poppy, the Alistar, the Cannon goes in, you just knock him out. We've been seeing a lot of success with Poppy into these hard engaged comps. It's uh, quite, it's quite disgusting how strong Poppy and Alistar are together. So, as a reminder, Poppy was the first ban. True, true from clowns. Yeah. It's a guy, Alistar. Divinity going in really hard here. It's exhausted. Hyperion's finally scaling. They're doing really, really good damage, but it's not going to be as it's they a little don't too late. Do damage. They can't kill anyone. Okay, they finally get the cannon. I think they definitely did a ban the uh, Ivern, though. For sure. And that is Shen TP. Shen is just tanking Anivial. Okay, maybe. Goodness gracious. Okay, so that... Okay, there we go. So that is gonna be game one going to Clown Gaming. We will be loading up for next game. I was so worried yeah. for a second. I thought Clowns might, might throw a... Uh... 10 kill lead, 5k gold lead, just throw it away. <laughs> but no, they, they they just couldn't kill kill anybody in the end. Tell you that Ivern saves at least like five people in like the big game. <laughs> yeah. What did you like from Hyperion other than the Renekton? I mean, they, they kept it close. Honestly, I, I think if they didn't overchase that dragon fight, you know, they got the pick on Takaisa. Um, they, 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 if they actually just sat back and, and played for the dragon, I think they actually stay in the game. Um, so I, I think, um, one, if they, they got to, they got to chill out a little bit early, you know, we can't be throwing six kills to the enemy team, but you know, like before 10 minutes, um, but just so so we'll play smart early and don't overextend. So, so I'm looking at this uh, support for the uh, for Hyperion. Mm -hmm. He does have some Bard games. Maybe do you think he breaks out the Bard? Uh I I I don't, honestly I don't know enough about Bard to say either way. I. I know what the champ does, but I don't know. I don't know what it's good into, so I'm not gonna hypothesize on that. <laughs> it seems to be mostly a uh, a mage support player, which I get. It's fun, but I think mage supports are uh, not really meta anymore, <laughs> just because items, you know. Yeah. Other than like you know a Fed Lux support or brand or something, but those yeah. are just two outliers. Let me turn that damn back on. Hmm. So it looks like Hyperion has chosen to take blue side this time. Blue side. I personally like red side. What about you? I mean, I'm a top laner, so I definitely prefer <laughs> red side. 
But, yeah, uh, slow laners unite. <laughs> give me that counter pick. We should do a uh, clown gaming team battle royale for all the clown gaming teams, except for the... I was uh, about to say. Except for the one team, the new team. Except for <laughs> the challenger <laughs> team. They can be the final boss. How about that? <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that, boss man. The best the one blind pick. That's what it's going to be. <laughs> hey, uh... Uh, we would just get skill gapped. Uh, no, I think I think a fun way to do it would be a fearless, fearless clown gaming draft or f tournament. Oh yeah, yeah, that'd be good too. Or like make like the make uh, each of the players from the challenger team be the team captains of their own squads and like they can pick <laughs> they can like draft well, the people from the teams they'll be on their team so have you seen um did you see anything about the drew toots um tournament that he that he put together i watched a little bit of it but i haven't i didn't really look into it okay so so the uh, do you understand the premise of it not really i, I didn't really okay. read into it i so he set up these teams and if a champion got picked, there was no bans. If a champion got picked by either team, you couldn't play it for the rest of the series. Either team. Okay, I, I knew that. The fearless part. Okay. Yeah. Well, no, no. That's that. Uh, that's not. I don't. That's not fearless. Fearless or no ultimate bravery. Never mind. Fearless. Yes. Ultimate bravery is what I was getting mixed up with. Um, okay. And but they had like a bunch of streamers, so it's like, okay, bouts. Do we take away his scion game one? And then he can't play it the rest of them, um, and that kind that kind of stuff. I, it was it was pretty cool. They they also they streamed at some of the scrims from like the week before, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I watched one of the games where I think it was Dantes playing. He played Hecarim, I think. Uh, yeah, because I think th there was one of them too where Kesha stole the Hecarim. So Dantes took uh, took the Nunu. It was interesting because they were not very good at each other's champs. Yeah, I saw Dantes playing Kindred. <laughs> that was that was sorry. Oh, that was pretty funny. Talk about a yikes. Okay, so yeah, I think you are right. Looks like they did go. Oh, it looks like Hyperion did take blue. Never. I bet with the top laner, Potty, feeling about that. <laughs> I want my counter pick against Sims. Do you think they banned the Quinn again? Or do they let it through and drop it for like a uh, Fiverr and ban? Uh, that is a really good question. I say let him ban play Quinn. Just just pick Aesol. You you'll, you'll poop on Quinn. It's okay. It's really funny when Quinn blinds you and Aesol, you can still see her. As long as you hit your key or E. Eat my ass watching mini review. Just some colorful language in lobby. <laughs> okay, anytime. Okay. It's a lot to watch. Oh, I guess they, uh. They, wow. Uh, yeah.
So uh, these guys are just taking their sweet old time. Audie's asking me permission to throw some of our tech out. But, uh, <laughs> uh, um, I forget what do you even play. Oh. I'm playing early. I gotta say. Need me to sub in. Eric W. I don't think they know what they're doing yet. <clears throat> yeah. Should I make a draft link for them? <laughs> Golden A. I got it. Sick. Said it before, I'll say it again. Gold in A. There. I made it for them. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay, looks like we are R for draft, so. Clown Gaming, I've gone to red side. Hyperion on blue side now. We'll see if the that, that change does anything for them. When we're in draft, here we go. Is it going to be... Twin band first for Hyperion. Come on, please. We're still not banning yet. Dark difference to last band go around. It was very quick last time. This time they're really thinking about it. They want to ban the oh, there's the, the Rel band. And then the Poppy band. Poppy band again. That's a good band. We know Clown Gaming likes to play hard engage. There's the Quinn band, of course. Will we get an Ivern band though? Is there gonna be an Ivern band or a Renekton band from Clown Gaming? I don't think they need to ban the Renekton, actually. Because, I mean, they just match tank for tank. Or not tank for tank, but just some just plays a tank into it. Goes down 50 CS. It's no problem. There's the Ivern ban. Hmm. Clown Gaming really thinking hard about this last ban. Or they're just buying time for their think they want a R1, R2 here. Oh, they're gonna go ahead and get rid of their Renekton. Do you think Clown Gaming just runs it back? We will see. So fun story about Adi. Or we had a screw with him last night because our, our AD carry Shiva is in Vietnam at the moment. For the next couple, for about the week or so. So we've been forcing him to pick Shiva's champions. Okay. Had a, a 50 50 turnout with it so far, but <laughs> uh, they're going to go ahead and be one Ash into a Zaya. Okay. Adi, it's not what we talked about. You said our tech from game three was definitely not Zaya, but alas. <laughs> Honestly, I think you just pick either just I think you just go support here. 
Ah. Take the Rakan. It's open. Take Zaya Rakan. Do it. Yep, there you go. And then you, I think you are three top lane here. Give Sims a pick, and then you ban out top laners. Because, yeah. Zillion. Okay. Very difficult champion to deal with. One time I faced a Zillion and Nivea bot lane. That was the most toxic lane I've ever played. <laughs> it's an annoying champion, for sure. Oh, blind and Ari. Ari. That's risky. I. I think Ari is a good, a good, a good safe pick, but definitely not something you can carry you with. Um, it's usually more of like, a, like not a counter pick, but a pick that if you don't have a counter pick, you could use it. But maybe they're afraid that the mid laner of their team, maybe it's one Ari one trick. You, a Malzahar. Pick. Okay, this is uh, gonna be a fun mid lane. A lot of uh. Just ignoring each other going on. I personally don't like Malzahar picks just because um find the champion to be very I don't know. Like once you like a one trick pony, right? So I, I mean, into the Ari, I can see it. I mean, that talk about point and click for to stop Ari dashes and everything. Um, I, I really, realistically, this is another Shen angle. We'll see if they want to try to give sh the counter pick though. It looks like that I mean, might would. be the case. Yeah. Watch it be a zillion top lane. Wouldn't, that, wouldn't you be so happy? Oh, Maokai. I, I like the Maokai more than the Trundle. Trundle yeah, there's not really any tanks. Well, no, not even just tanks, but Ash slow, zillion slow, like Ari <laughs> super mobile. Like it's so, it would be so hard to play Trundle into those three. It's like the Nocturne again. I want. I believe Nocturne's actually pretty decent into Malzahar because I believe the Nocturne ult can or uh, drops the spell Passes. shield. Yeah. Yeah. So you still fly to them no matter what. Yeah. So. Olaf. Is it gonna be the pickup here? Interesting. Blind Olaf. I mean, it's a good pick into the Rakan, Malzahar, Maokai. Like, it, it's... Even the mm -hmm. side, the, the Blade... The blade Caller. I think it's Blade Caller, right? Yeah, Blade Caller. So, we'll have to see what the counter pick here is. Alright, Sims, come on. I know you want to do it. Break out the set. Trendemir. Okay. Have you ever seen Sims on Trindamir? Uh, I think I once haven't. or twice. Uh, I know he likes to farm. He really likes to farm with Trindamir. I think he was telling me about a game uh, yeah, the other day where he was like 11 CS a minute or something like that. So... The draft is ready. But no one is ready for game yet.
One of the champions I've noticed fall out of favor in these leagues is uh, Nico. I've been playing a lot of it myself, but like these teams really undervalue Nico. I feel like like I think if Hyperion picked up Nico instead of Ari, I would like their comp a lot more. Yeah, that's the same. Yeah, it was like Nico got really popular and was played yeah, even in pro a ton when she first came out, and now it's just like she doesn't exist. I don't know. It's really weird to me too. I I agree with you on that. And, and she's still really strong. Like I, I think I played it into Tristana the other day. Yeah. And uh, as a scrim match, but it was like against like a diamond team or like a emerald diamond team or something. And like, you know, like it was like mid game, two, three items. I hit one E on Tristana, and she like, I think I got it like like twenty percent health. Oof. The it was a Porta Belt build too. It wasn't like a high damage build. So like. I don't know why people stop playing her. I think she's she's insanely good with like a, and teams. Like just you land because the root is so strong. Like it'll hit three or four people, you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then you get your Q plus your ultimate. Oh, it's just disgusting. So much lockdown. There's the bard hover. <laughs> he really wants to play that bard. Bard. Boom. Now, if this mid laner plays Ari like he should, hopefully he takes like minion D mat and just roams on this Malzahar. Mm -hmm. Early, because like once Malzahar gets. Like level, what is it, like seven or eight? He can start killing the towers really quickly. So if the Ari can get a good off roam off, like I'm level four, I'm at level three, level five, level six, and get some, like, get like bot or top ahead and like invade the jungle, like maybe Hyperion can take over this game with the Nocturne and Olaf. Mm -hmm. But uh, I just. I don't know. I haven't seen his mid later playing enough, I guess, to know if he wants to do that. Yeah. Something I've been doing recently, um, I think I'd share this, is like when I play champions like Ari, Nefiri, like these early game prio champions, is especially when I'm on red side, I will push my way, like I think the second or third wave, and go to chickens. Hmm, okay. And the last two times I've stolen the big chicken. <laughs> and. It, it fucks the jungler up so bad. You, you, can, you can occasionally, if you have like a strong top lane champ, you can do that too. Shove three and then walk to, especially if you're on blue side. It's really easy on blue. Three can't, or three wave crash into invade red. So, yeah. So, so nice. Yeah, and I guess like if you, if I coordinate that with top next time on blue side, we both shove out. And then we both meet them at the red buff. Ooh. You know, that'd be dirty. Yeah. I mean, I Trindamir, start practicing that. they're on red side, so it's not it's not great. But Trindamir is a really good champion to do that with as well. I'm going to have to mute for one second. I'll be right back. Yeah. See you soon. I can play Quantum.
Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Do you think that the uh, Byroners are enough? I mean... I think so, because I think, I think what they're trying to target... I don't think enough is the right word. I think it's just kind of like... If you've seen some of the W's that she's had, it's like that's a bit excessive. So I, I don't I don't think I don't think it actually hurts her that much. I think it just kind of it, it's more it gets rid of extreme edge cases as opposed to like substantive like major win rate nerfs. Do you think it has a big impact on Lane Briar? I mean a little bit because some of the the healing on W went down, but not not I don't yeah I don't think it's not too bad. The, like the I spots... know they want her to be a jungler, but I feel like she's so good in lane too. Like I, obviously yeah. her early level is bad, but like just the ability to get the levels in CS, you know, like yeah, I think um. There's definitely matchups that she's good into and matchups that she's awful into. And so if you pick her in the spots that she's good, uh, the, the, the nerfs aren't going to change whether or not you pick her. That's good. Have you tried uh, lethality at all? Not in game yet. Um, I've done like a. I, I like practicing new champions in uh, like customs versus bots. So like I'll just do like three v one, five v one type stuff, um, and that's been half decent. But that's you know bots. So I've seen lethality do really well for mid lane Briar, <clears throat> and then and we are in game. Oh, here we go. So. It doesn't look like we have anything spicy going on, so... Yeah, I think mid lane Briar, I think there's... I think... I don't know. She's not blindable by any means, but I could see I could see that working every now and then. I'm gonna start blinding her. <laughs> oh, Ari already takes off the passive shield. Okay, one level one. I was hoping for something a little more spicy, since with the with the Maokai pick, you know, it's like maybe they'll invade. I mean, talk about a really good Merc Treads angle for the Ari. Yeah. Like the bot lane matching skins. Um, very good job. Good job for uh, Clown Gaming. Uh, much appreciated when we uh, link up. Also, mid lane also matching. I mean, I, I know the Miles the Har is the default, but the Ari, you know, matches it perfectly. Pretty cat meow. Let it go. Go away, cat. Also, just looking at the clear speeds between these two champions, you know, Maokai and uh, Maokai's had a lot of nerfs regarding to his clear speed with his Q. I actually forgot to mention it earlier, but I think uh, Clown has a support sub. Oh. Let me let me uh, do a quick. I nuts. Let me do a quick. Uh... The big trade going on mid lane. Uh, Malzar managed to swing it back in his favor. Another big trade top lane. 
But Sim does not have that six, so I think Olaf does have the big advantage in that with these low HP trades. So, oh, little bomb coming from Zillion. <laughs> oh, funny dude did miss the the W on Rakan, and we got a Maokai gank coming mid. Oh, that was beautifully done. Very well done by Divinity. He silences the Ari as the Maokai gets in range for a flash W, so she cannot flash away before the W hits. Very well done. Also, you love to see it when champions pick up a Sapphire Crystal and still manage to do damage. <laughs> nice. The Ash did flash a Recon engage there. So that will be down for a while until about 840. I don't think I'm gonna ping that in game. Oh, they pinged it. Okay, cool. Oh, Zillion just, they got a Zillion flash too. <laughs> this Ari loves eating the silences from the Malzahar. <laughs> Keeps trying to sidestep it instead of just going up or down. Wonder if he doesn't have a lot of mat uh, practice versus Malzahar. Well, you're right, Sims is. Farming like a beast on that Trindamere. <clears throat> yeah, he got he's got a, he got a good first base off too with the uh, Zerker Greaves first back. Oh, did you see they're buffing uh, Doran's items? Uh, they're doing a lot of changes, including support items and like. Jungle smite and pets. And yeah, minions. I guess yeah. too many people got their cannon minions smited from the, by the jungler. Hmm. But too bad for Elise and Elise though. <laughs> I don't like those champs, so I'm okay with it. No, but uh, you can no longer stack Doran's items after yeah. 1320. Good. You, they're, they're, you, you're not supposed to stack them anyway. Because <laughs> they, they've got unique uh, passives. I used to be a... a Diana one trick for a long time, and... Uh -huh. the build was... Uh, on the old Diana, you go... three or four Dorn's rings into death cap. Uh, that was the build. Mid laners are both out of mana. Ari is used ulti, though. Yeah, she has flash, but okay, is this a bait? Is this 200 IQ bait? Does she have a charm? She does land the charm. Oh, you can't flash the, the Maokai W, unfortunately. <laughs> I've tried that numerous times. It doesn't work. No, point and click stuns are, or point and click roots are fun. The double stun, though, the cleanse is going to come out, so is exhaust. Blade Call is going to come back. And the ghost will be popped to get the ash to safety. Uh, Rakan? Uh, Rakan inting. That was... I don't know what he was thinking there. I think that's a Lee Syndrome moment. But yeah. Rakan. Be red, kill red, you know? Yep. Okay, Olaf and Trindamir going at it again a little bit. Them still. Ah, that's oh a no! Oh, Flash is oh. gonna get blown. So that is all sums down right now. But Ash's Flash will be coming up relatively soon to give them that advantage. Nocturne just hit six though, so Hyperion Gaming does have a small window bot lane for a really juicy gank into that Infernal Dragon. Yeah, Malka is down 20. Like, what are they doing CS. right now? I don't. They're on vision. They're electing to go the long way. 
gonna get Maokai killed here, it looks like. And Rakan killed. That's a double kill on to the Nocturne. And they're gonna go right for this Infernal Dragon, which and is... most importantly, they didn't use Nocturne ult. They still have Nocturne ult. Yeah. They gotta be... This uh, Malzar has to be careful, because he could just ult mid. Here comes Olaf, too. Is he just shitting the Skull Crab? I think he's getting the Skull Crab. Yep. Malzar, do not walk up. They got vision on you. Malzar, you are playing with fire right now, my dude. That's a dead Malzahar. Yep. That, okay. This this Nocturne just got, just got turned on, basically. What I Isn't saw... I can buy a full item. What I just saw there was, I want to go to game three. And it's up to the clown gaming team to, uh... Me wrong. Oh, Sims, Sims making plays, going for the blue buff because he does Nocturnes on his red. But I don't know if this will be enough. That's oh, gonna be a Gore Drinker buy from this Nocturne, I think, off this base. Stride Breaker again, no? No, he's got a whip. I, that builds into Stride Breaker. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm stupid. I don't, I don't play bru AP, AD Bruisers anymore. So he doesn't quite have the full item yet. But it looks like it's going to be a stride breaker from both top and jungle this time. I don't I don't I only play balanced mages, okay? <laughs> or assassins. These uh bruisers you speak of you play they don't exist for me. Yeah, so so the way you can tell is <laughs> if they have the hearthbound axe and iron spike okay. whip that's stride breaker if they have iron spike whip and phage it's gore drinker as we see it engaging on the bot side that is a zillion alt is gonna come out zillion still has flash and exhaust we got we got ghost on ash now i honestly think they should have let the zillion alt expire zillion would have been way lower health arm landing mid lane decent chunk on the divinity but the vein does have that Leandris built already. He did take a plate from mid. And he had that first blood bonus. Um, he does have ult, so this Nocturne gank here. I don't like it. That was Ash. Ash ult is down. So that's going to be a dead zillion, potentially. Nope, no damage. Oh, oh, oh. Ash does take out the uh, Rakan. Is it a double kill? It's a double yeah, kill. It's a double kill. Exhaust for the win. Nocturne's baiting. Nocturne's pinging this Malkai out right now. I don't know if they win this 2v2 topside. Although yeah, Ari's here, so. Okay. Um, Ari wasting ult, so is Nocturne. Just whiffs the charm. Okay. Uh, that was a waste of time. I think he should have just gone bot and dink and like dope bot before they recalled. I mean, I recalled as uh, they came back in the lane, pushed the wave, then ganked them. Or go mid, because Malzahar is playing. Ma I think Malzahar is playing illegally right now. What was that? I'm not going to talk about that. <sighs> Don't want to blame him. I think you're right, this Malzar has a uh, I want a game 3 energy right now, playing super illegally. Nocturne choosing the wrong path to gank mid lane. That was a very nice charm. We got a bit of a lull in the action now. 
So uh, just taking a quick look at, look at this, uh, the Olaf is a 1k gold up on the Trendemir, so uh, kills, you're, you're wrong. Um, that's going to be a 1400 gold lead in the jungle for Hyperion. Um, and then a thousand gold at the AD carry spot as well. So Hyperion have a lot of gold on the carries that they need to be strong. Uh, so we'll see how they how they transition that into into dragons and and trying to get a bigger lead. What's the keybind for the gold swap? X. And then A is the team fight. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't have the scene. Okay. Oh, uh, Nocturne. Oh, Nocturne does get the kill on the Ari. I'm actually shocked I killed her. Uh, I think she, oh. it, she must have, she had to have gotten. Okay. Oh, uh, uh Sir? why, did, dude? Sir. Yeah. Uh, hello. Uh, I'm pretty sure Q auto kills. Okay then. Okay. So, uh, that's a foreigner nocturne. <laughs> This Nocturne is really strong right now. Both top laners are actually uh, right on that 10 CS a minute mark, so... Oh no, I got my side... Side profile disappeared. How do you get those back? Side profile? Like the little character portraits with their ult. Icons and stuff. Um, I I don't remember what button it is. I know what you're talking about, but I don't oh, the team frames. I got him. I got him. Yep. <clears throat> okay. So this is gonna be a double Another kill mid to the Olaf. Oh my god. Now the heart gets caught. That's a triple kill to the Olaf. That is Toddy 2K popping off. Uh, okay, he's not gonna die to tower. But that is we got a, a 6k gold lead almost for Hyperion. Yeah, that's a 2k. Um, that's a 2k lead for the Olaf. Yeah, 7,500 over 5,300. That that's that's terrifying. And we got about a thousand gold in the bot lane. Actually, the Malzahar's got a gold lead still, but that Nocturne is at 7,000 gold as well. So it's 2k over the uh, almost 2k over the mount guy. This is uh, looking pretty pretty dire for Clown Gaming right now until unless they can figure something out. But unfortunately, they're they're losing in every lane. Uh, I think it's, it's, is mid still losing. Mid was I'd up say mid a even. Bit. Yeah, mid, I mean, mid's not... up 200 gold. It's not enough though. No, it's it's not. Like, the Malzahar will be taking towers, but it's like the same thing that happened last game for Hyperion, but not for Clown. Okay, we got oh, an engage Malga group. is already chunked. That is another kill over the Nocturne. 5-0 and oh now. And Nocturne's has his ult coming up in about 5 seconds, too. This is Nocturne sitting on 2300 gold in his bag right now. Whew. 2400. Jeez. That, that's gonna be a big, that's gonna be a nice buy for him. Hmm. Got enough for lethality item. <laughs>
What does Zatarn go here, you think? You think he goes Collector or Axiom Arc? Um... Nah, I just, I think he goes just, tanky. Yeah, I think he just keeps going Bruiser. Like Cleaver? Uh, Cleaver, I mean, Olaf is going into... Cleaver, yep. Uh... Yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay, so... Malzard does die, but he does get a fatty shutdown. Did you see that flash? Not. I would I, re, re, replay that and watch that play again. That was a flash if I've ever seen one. Um, but yeah, no. So it looks like he is going to end up going the Black Cleaver. But as we as we see, Trindamir looking to engage in the top side. That's gonna be Ari alt down. So Trinometer got Trinometer got what he came for. As Black Cleaver completed on the Nocturne as well as the Olaf. Two items I, for I really don't like double Black Cleaver. I think it's kind of a waste. I but would agree with you. Poor communication there on their part. Nocturne could have just gone Spear Sojin there, I think. If if uh, Olaf is going to get Black Cleaver. If he wants to be a Bruiser build still. Spear is still an amazing item. It It is... yeah. That... Oh, okay. Well, Tim's playing with fire here. Mm -hmm. Maybe the thought process is like, oh, here comes an engaged mid lane. Mogtai ult does come out. So does the Zaya ultimate. TP from Sims. Oh, not Sims. Uh, Malzahar TP. Malzahar TP, yeah. But the Ari is pushed off. Ult is going to go onto the Ash. And it looks like Hyperion just cleans this this, this uh, team fight up. Yep. Three for, three for zero. Olaf is still shoving in on the top side. Like, yeah, Hyperion's really happy with this. Then still sitting at a cool three goose eggs. Hello, gentlemen. How has the game Hello. been? Hello, my fellow Lux enjoyer. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> Great. Just watching um some uh. You're watching some game. Sims gaming. I see. The clown, the clown gaming tradition of going three games in a best of three. Is, is, is gonna stay strong here, I feel like. <clears throat> I see Sems is zero, zero, zero <laughs> at 20 minutes. <laughs> to be fair, they only have four kills, so. Yeah, and three of them are on mid lane. Notice though that, 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 that bot lane is also zero, zero K kills plus assists. <laughs> it's been yeah, a weird game. Yeah, bot lane. So give me the rundown of what's happened for the first 20 minutes. So this minutes. game is exactly the same thing that happened the last game, but reverse the teams. That that means absolutely nothing to somebody. It, okay. Okay. So that's going to be another kill on the Tai 2K. So so what has happened is that Wait, the he early have game... Wait, doesn't have Oh, he's going to die anyway. Basically so... what's happened is this Nocturne got an early triple kill. And it just kind of sped him through the rest of this game and objectives, yeah. and then, yeah. Um, and then bot lane went ran randomly too, without knocking himself. Kills came in and said, remember when Toddy 2 k said he was the best top in the league, and he's proceeding to go even with Sams, and then got a triple kill. <laughs> here comes Sims. Sims. Sims is doing as he promised, running it down. He did it. Good job, boy. That That is actually a good Keck W, though. Oh, you get a flash, baby. Flash charm these, these, flash charm these 
Show your doubt. What was that? I got like see that. This is looking rough. <laughs> oh, a big shutdown on the Zaya. That's a thousand big ones to her. It is still. I'll finish up her uh, quick blades, probably. Reduce the 10k gold lead to a 9k gold lead. Winnable. Hey, man. It's it's winnable. The I mean, words of Tyler one winnable. Sems, Sems is two item now. Like he's got this game. Yeah, th but Sems is still behind his AD carry on items. <laughs> I, I mean that's real. I mean I think the biggest issue is there's a three <laughs> item Olaf, who can just absolutely run through this Maokai Malzahar. Oh, Nocturne's also. Oh, an item and a half ahead of Maokai. Yeah. He, he is he is rolling this game over. If you look at the gold here, um, that tells you a lot what's going on. We got 12k on the Olaf versus 8k on the Trindamir. It's quite the gold diff. Quite the top diff, I might add. And a jungle uh, oh, top. I, hey, a Sims, jungle I didn't say too. it. I didn't say it, Sims. <laughs> They did. No, they did have Bandis Quinn two games in a row, so um, it's very unfortunate. I'm allowed to say it because I'm an admin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sims. Oh. The, I'm uh, a staff of the two, but sure. I, I... Okay, the exhaust is going to come out. That's going to go we one We have the for old one. bot lane. He whiffs the flash bot lane. He will pay with his life. So uh, two for one in favor of Hyperion. If they can take this game, that'd actually be their win, their first comes, game win. Comes a third kill. Their looks like. First game win for... BOL. Does Nocturne live? Is a flash? Oh, oh, and do a charm. Oh, yikes! You hate to see it. A valiant effort, though. Valiant effort. Hyperion, you can take Hyperion. Yeah, there's there's four dead. Don't go to Dragon. So yeah, if you got if a Hyperion... wave, you got Baron. If they take this win, that would be Hyperion's first win in the BOL, the split. First, like, game win or first game period? win. First game win. Baby steps, baby steps. You gotta start with a game win. That's <laughs> how you get to a series win. Now, is this a draft diff, you think? The, I think the team comp on Clown is a little rough. Yeah. Like, like, you're looking for side lane Trindamir and side lane Malzahar. And it it is actually like a comp you can run. I just think it's very unconventional running Malzahar in a side lane against Olaf. Not Nocturne doesn't work. Even just Olaf doesn't work, right? Yeah. Um, mean, and they don't really have the best team fighting option either. Like I think, despite despite having the the Maokai and the the Zaya Rakan for team fighting, I think I still prefer Hyperion's comp for team fights because they have pick. I, I think it's just draft diff, because I don't like comp, comp at all. Like, it, there's no synergy with champions other than bot lane and jungle. I, I think you can make arguments for, like, three of the five for a comp, but not four or five. It, it, if, if Nocturne was banned, this would have been a better comp, because you're looking to have mid and top side lane, right? Um... And, and you can play around, like, trying to get Malzahar away from the Olaf, but you can't put Malzahar on a side lane again with Nocturne available. He's just gonna insta-die. The pick Lux. True! Not wrong. You can just R every single wave. Not have this problem. Don't, don't give away the strats, okay? All right, Hyperion, let's see if he can close this game out. The Baron is in the spawn for another minute. What are we going to do, boys? What are we going to do? How are we going to throw this lead? Maokai abusing his OP saplings. <laughs> I just realized I forgot to uh, update the... Uh...
we 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 run we run a tight ship here. Definitely, definitely no forgetting until 30 minutes into the game to update the uh, the scoreboard. <laughs> definitely not forgetting that. I, I think Sam's just needs to be on Orn duty. Oh, they got he got a ban this game. Yeah, they banned his Quinn, they banned his Orn, they banned his Malphite. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is a, this is a counter pick. This is a counter pick, Trindamere. Yeah, oh, this, is, this, is, this is a thing. Interesting. This was an yeah. R five Trindamere. <laughs> I listen. I said they should have just picked Shen on four. That that that's what I said. Shen would have helped this comp tremendously, actually. Just change it to a protect Zaya comp and Shen side lanes and just gets away from people. It worked for them last game, so that's what he played last game. Played Shen. They they played protect the Kaisa. I, I swear I saw a thread on Reddit recently though about how people are saying Shen is really weak and not fun to play. They must be in like iron. Now it's an X Peke. X Peke has been so talking about that. Really? Yeah. He's like still boycotting. Play. He's boycotting Shen. How do you really? Play I thought I expected he was a mid laner. What happened? No, no, no. Um, the dark side? The Shen, the Shen OTP. Oh, X oh. P2? Uh, P2, yeah. Yeah, they're too close. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's an X and a P and a <laughs> X, uh, X P2, whatever his name is. But the same length. Charm does go wide. That's okay, a... Did... did she just hourglass the Mauer? Ma... Did she stop watch the Maokai ult? I don't know. That's the second charm going wide. But Olaf just took the, in the inhib top side. The flash forward. Olaf Zillion's gonna that. come out. Olaf popping the ghost. He's coming for him. One, two. Where's the third? Chop, 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 chop. Can Sims get a kill? Yes, oh, he can! Man, he gets on the board! Meanwhile, oh, Olaf is just running for the ending team. the game. Yep. Uh, okay. That's a big minion wave, though. I don't think they actually... I don't think they can end. Zillion solo taking out the inhibitor. What a boss. Did it! Hmm. Get set like a bandit. Oh, that's that's the uh, Sterex proct. That's a uh, important cooldown. Somewhat important cooldown. Uh, I mean, it's it's already almost a quarter of the way back up. I think they're fine. I mean, he's seven and two. Uh, there's no chance. He got he's got sixteen k, thirteen hundred in the bank. Well, I just I picked think up a he's... warden's mail and base too. So yeah, this 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 all is chilling. Yeah. Lands the charm onto the Rakan. There's a nocturnal kind of appeal for that. Does he go? He gets hit on the Zaya. Olaf just runs There's... this fight. Malzahar is down. That's that's a triple kill for the Olaf. Oh, triple Doesn't kill. Doesn't even need the Sterex. Sterex is now off cooldown though, so he yeah. has it now just in case Sims wants to fight. Sims does want to fight. He wants to go after the Ash, but the Ash plus the slow is just too much for him. That zillion He's slow is it. so disgusting. He's running it down. He ran it down, boys. Good job. And, and that turns into the game. Three. First win for Hyperion and DOL. Good job. Well deserved. Well earned. Lovely. So that is game two going on. It is one to one now for the series. So. Sims coming in hot with the 8k damage. <laughs> Love to see it. <coughs> but he did do his promise. He did farm very well, so, you know. He did. So. He, I, yeah. 
so we will. He had 320 CS at 32 minutes. That's 10 CS a minute. That was very impressive. 9.9. .9, didn't quite get to that 10 mark. If oh, well, he got that 10 mark. If he had 10 CS a minute, he, he would have won that game. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Should have farmed better. Oh, he's probably watching right now. <laughs> so we're oh, going into he... game three here tonight. The Epi Champion, get my Sims some help. Yes, send Sims your energy. He's his third game Sims, boys. Let, let's go. You know what final game of the series means, Northward? What does it mean? It means it's Lux time. Lux. Anti-fire. I agree with you. Get, get Sims a Quinn. We need a Quinn game. No, no, no. The final... That you don't understand. The final game of the series was always Lux time. It's always Lux time. All right. Are they going to invite me so I can make their uh, teams again? Maybe. It's time to pull out Quinn and Valor. Law Illusion Draven. It's kind of cool. Uh, I'm about to say, Antfire, you you missed. If you missed game one, this man does it does not average 10 CS a minute. I think that man went 80 CS in like a 30 minute game in game one. So who, who was that? Sims. He went from <laughs> 5 CS a minute to, to almost 10 CS a minute. Depends what he's playing. But he played Shen game one, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, oh, I, I guess that leads to me to another question. What's the meta Shen build now? I swear I saw on that, that same Reddit post I mentioned earlier that Shen doesn't build Hydra anymore, and that was his only source of wave clear. I don't know. Um... He had a team at, if I recall correctly. Well, so he went, so he went, so he went Heartsteel, Sunfire, uh, Titanic. Hey, that's I mean, the build I thought it was. Let's, you know what, Wolalytics, let's, let's type this up. Shen, what's the, what, what's the meta? Heartsteel, uh, okay, Sims just did Wolalytics build. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I've been... everything I'm seeing is Heart Steel, Sunfire, Hydra. Interesting. It's pro it, I wonder if the reason that Reddit Fred mentioned it is because it's one of the lower win rate builds right now. Did you get an invite yet? I have not. They're not even in lobby yet, so we have more time to kill. Okay, what was the last patch? Um... I mean, yeah, last patch, the... Between Heartsteel and Iceborne Gauntlet, they had basically the same win rate and not a small sample size of games either. So I'm not sure what that Reddit thread was talking about then. Thunderer has the highest win rate though. Interesting. How many games played though? 400. Yeah. That's still impressive though. I wouldn't think Thunderer is very good on Shen. Uh, I mean, in some matchups, it can be fine. I mean, you get enough damage from your empowered Qs that you don't really need it, but like, I could, I could see it being decent. I mean, Tiggsy's right. Shen can pretty much build anything. Oh, hello, Tiggsy. Our top laner invading the stream, I see.
Maybe I'll hurry this up before I fall asleep. <laughs> I had COVID like last week or week or two ago, and uh, ever since then, like I get really tired now at ten o'clock at night. Mm. It does a number to your immune system and to your lungs, so that's not surprising to hear that like you're you have after effects from it. Yeah, it's like my third time with it. Really unfortunate. Hey, Bro. Well this is the last time I had it was the worst time by far. The first time was like nothing, and then the second time like I was debilitated for like two weeks almost. I didn't eat anything for like like four or five days basically and like I had no energy. Like, I think I went out to the mall for, like, three days or 30 minutes, and I just, like, passed out for three days. I ate Z. And then I had it again two weeks ago, and it, I mean, it la it only lasted, like, two, three days or so, but then, like, it was off and on, depending on the day kind of thing. Yikes. But it just, this time was just, like, really bad, really bad headaches. Like, so painful that you couldn't think or function uh. and i still played scrims like that <laughs> oh god i ran it down every single time <laughs> <laughs> and then uh apparently since i didn't wear a mask during scrims uh both my teammates tigzy and shiba both got sick i think so um, she was blaming me for not wearing a mask during scrims. Um, I'm not sure that works, but <laughs> I'm gonna go with it. You transmitted them a virus over league. Yep. Oh, there's my invite. Oh, well, aren't you? Okay, never mind. <laughs> I got a first thumb scum cooler. Game lobby is full. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> right, I'll reinvite you. There you that go. Works. Oh, you're plat one? Dude, you need to farm up those games. You need one. Uh, I, I ran into some... Uh, just, uh, ranked, ranked had me down bad for a little bit. You're literally at 50 wins, 50 LP. That, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> no, Briar. I was like... <laughs> but Briar's out. Briar's out, so I gotta, we gotta, we gotta climb. You're a Briar was... abuser, I hear. Uh, yeah, two abusers. Of them abuser's not the right word. Enjoy but, her. Uh, she's she's fun to play, but it's no gangplank. Gangplank. I'm not a good gangplank. I, I, yes, I, you are. No, I'm not. I, I'm objectively not. It's just a broken champion and. Yeah, but say you don't. Style. That's the point of him. You don't have to be good at him. <laughs> okay, so we are ready to get into draft. Um, I am so behind my. All right, so it appears Clown Gaming has opted in for uh, Blue Side Nocturne first ban, and then a Rail ban again. Do we see their Ivern in? Poppy ban. Do we see a Poppy ban again? And do we see a Quinn ban? If they don't ban Quinn in first rotation, do you think they just blind it? Blue side? Uh, that depends on if Sems is comfortable with the blind. I personally would not be comfortable with blind Quinn. Well, if they ban but... Renekton here, they could they could blind Re it. Quinn is a, a Renekton counter. Oh. Are you sure about that? Yes. Yes. Okay. I, I don't. I don't believe that champion has a counter, so I, I don't know what you're talking about. For Quinn. <laughs> no, the, the, Quinn is like. Nice <laughs> There's a lot of things that are good into Quinn. Okay. Quinn. Oh, there it is. There it is. Sorry, Sims. No fun for you. Quinn is Renekton's worst matchup in the game. Statistically. But we're going to go ahead and get the Kai'Sa first pick instead. Oh my god, this again. I'm so tired of seeing these first picks. <laughs> Although at least at least they changed it up last time and got the Zaya, but Kai it's okay. Kai'Sa's not a she's not a broken champion. She only needed a 2% cooldown nerf. <laughs> JK, you could just get Leandris and fix that. Oh yeah. 
Gonna see. I mean, so this is setting up to be another really strong pick comp for Hyperion. So I really don't like just picking the Arya like this, though. Like, it, 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 I would, I would want to know. Like, did you guys look at the champ pools and the, like the OP dot GGs uh, yeah. earlier? Like, what, what's the really... reasoning behind them picking the Ari? Not just often, but early. We looked at the champ pools. I don't know why they're picking the Ari like this. They just they did it last time too. Or the J four pick. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I'm, I'm assuming it's because they did well the last game. They want to run it back. However, they don't have the Nocturne or the Olaf this time. Or this literally sixty percent of the champions they played last game got banned. So they said, "Hey, if we can't get those, we're gonna get the ones we can." I mean, yeah, two of the five of the last game. They, they, they're still highly telegraphed to a pick comp, so Clown should really be holding four or five picks to counter the pick comp. Pick something generic. Yeah, Honestly, that's fine. Okay, the Braum pick in the Nas is very good. is game three so is sems just gonna get banned again like yeah they're gonna, they're gonna be an orange here yep. yep that's what they've done all three games makes sense sims could pull out his secret tech though i think he, i think he should do it for his, his third game what secret tech oh he's got he's got a secret tech he's been he's been cooking on it for a while you mean the ap trend because the ad trend didn't work <laughs> No, uh, I think he 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 breaks out the uh, the set here, or the Mordekaiser. I would uh, love to see the Mordekaiser. Mordekaiser into a pick comp. Absolutely. Uh, Orn's open though. The Orn is open. Renekton is banned, so that he could pick Orn here if they don't the, take it from him. The problem with the Orn is not just that they can't take it, but it's highly telegraphed, and Hyperion can just take. You know, Mordekaiser or something else that does really good into it. They're baiting him into the orb. Well, that's an interesting pick, given for, what's shown so far. For a pick comp, I understand it, but... I mean, but you know they're going to go a tank top, so you're playing into three tanky champions. And, like, if uh, they go, it, like, with Sandra, if they went something, like... Lissandra or uh, Lissandra, Nico, Anivia, those kind of things any, like any control mage, basically. It's very hard for. Oh, there's oh, Lissandra. Yes, like, <laughs> it's so hard for Kha'Zix to it. play this game, short of blowing up Kaisa. But you've got so many meatballs in front of him. And a Gwen uh, pick. The Gwen uh, pick is good. Like Gwen goes hard here. Yeah, but I, I just. They want picks, right? So, like, Gwen wants to split push, probably. Gwen can team fight just, really like... well. But they don't have... They're not a team fight team, though. Yeah, I, I'm just saying, Gwen Gwen does go hard in isolation. That's all I'm saying. All right. These team fights are going to be on the Braum, Ari, and Ash to really get their CC spread out. Braum's going to have to, like, flash in... Hit somebody, cue somebody else, hit somebody else, you know, get his passive I don't, rolling. I don't think he, he doesn't need to flash in. Left side Maybe comp, not. like, they have to go into the Braum. So, hmm. I mean, they, they need they need to make sure the Ash... They need to make sure that Ash uh, can get ahead. Because if Ash can get ahead and they can play around that, it's really well, but... I don't know. If this Kai'Sa gets decently farmed... It's going to be so hard to get to her. Oh, yeah. If it's anything like game one, Kaisa just runs away with this game. If it turns into a team fight game where there's lots of posturing around objectives, like it, it, it might be hard for Hyperion to, to win, but they have yeah. their own strengths with their comp. It's just going to be a lot harder to pull off than a meatball comp. Yeah. And they've got to make sure that the Gwen doesn't get rolling, because if Gwen gets rolling, it's really hard for them. This should definitely be a Jarvan camp top game and get Gwen behind because they need 
they need ornaments really to take over the mid to late game. Yeah, yeah. If, if Gwen gets put behind, yeah. I mean, Tig Tigzy is right. Orin Orin's decent early levels to Gwen, but if she gets rolling, yeah, oof, it's scary. He should have just picked Nefiri. I wonder what what else would have been good in the Orn slot or good in the Gwen slot. Gwen. See, this mid laner plays Cassiopeia would have been really good. And this Anivia has been left open. He's like an Anivia one trick. Like, I don't know why they're just not putting him on Anivia. <clears throat> I did. I need to stop spending money. I keep buying things I don't need. <laughs> what, what, what's, what's your spending addiction, my guy? Like, like, what, what is it specifically that you're spending all your money on, and you don't want to? It's not all my money. It's just most of it. <laughs> I wouldn't even say that. It's just like it's just a constant stream. You know what I mean? <clears throat> like. At first, I bought a new keyboard, then I didn't like it, so I took it back. <laughs> Tigsy called you out. I bought something else. I, I No, no. I bought the one Razer keyboard, I took it back, and I bought a different one. The Wooting 60HE, the cheating keyboard. It hasn't come yet. But then, I was like, my mouse, my desk mat, looking kind of old. Also, I bought a new one of those for like 30 bucks. And then, what else did I buy? I bought a backpack. Actually, it's a Razer backpack. It's actually really nice. Really nice Razer backpack. Bought a Razer pillow. Um. And then I and then yesterday I bought a. Uh, a model airplane. So. Just there's little things that add up, you know. I wouldn't really call them little. <laughs> Like the model airplane costs like hundred bucks. Yeah, the Razor Pillow was like another forty bucks. Backpack was a hundred bucks. Yeah, it's just, it's just and then I keep going out for food, you know. <clears throat> I don't actually see? disagree with you, Effie. The damage on this comp is a little bit low. But that that's all the importance of getting Kaisa ahead. Well, Unfortunately, you also want to get Orn ahead so that he doesn't just straight lose to Gwen. I was gonna say they might have lower damage, but like they don't need that much damage to kill Hyperion. Hyperion have three squishies. You know, they so, still they still need enough though. I think they have enough damage. They did, they did a style of comp earlier in game one. Tixie, stop stop giving your, your tech away, bro. Why why are you mentioned I can I can I delete this? Am I a mod? <laughs> I'm not a mod, damn it. <laughs> Tixie, you're giving away your stress. You say that, but Dark's in here. We're facing Dark, like, next week, possibly. <laughs> We're ETS next week. See? See? He said noted. Oh, my God. You you just threw away our uh, our, our big brain moves. All right, I don't think Dark will actually ban Singe. Consider this as warning. 
actually dark since you're here if we do win this week would you mind playing next week like on thursday or or sunday Instead of Friday. So sad there's been no Lux picks, no Nefiri picks, no Quinn picks. Briar is up, that's all I'm saying. It's she's banned in these leagues, I think at the moment. Still? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. Heck. I think if she was available to play, I think this would be the week that they could pick her, but which is strange because like Nefiri was available to play like three weeks after her le release and in, in leagues, but Briar wasn't. The Ghost Kha'Zix. Okay. Also, has Attila played Ash all three games? Uh, yeah. And we are into game three of Quown. Uh, heck, I've got to change the things around again. We are into game three of Quown Gaming versus Hyperion. Oh, this is Ghost Conqueror Kha'Zix. I, I guess I respect. I get it. I get why he wants to conquer this game. <laughs> There's three beefy boys. <laughs> Nautilus Flash for Ari Flash. Let's see if they actually make use of that or not. Also, Nautilus does not have the Hex Flash. G4 spotted out, <clears throat> doing blue buff. All right, let's see if we get a nice cheese gank from Kha'Zix. Do you think he'll do a two camp gank? I imagine like he's it. just Come full on. clear. But the game for you, man, you gotta, you gotta break out all the stops. Uh, well, that's when you don't break out the stops and you just full clear. Wow. Think and make them you think you're gonna break out all the stops and then you just don't. They win their first game. They have a chance to win the first series. Like they, they gotta, they gotta do it. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Man, Hyperion is all over uh, Clown, Gen Clown Gaming's jungle right now. Like they are keeping track of Shu, like white on rice. But I'll let him get away with one of these Batman early ganks, Batman special. Oh, okay, we got a gank bot lane coming in. There, oh, there goes the ghost for Ash. <clears throat> okay, that's that's worth it getting the ghost. And they saw it. That's that's nice. J4 going back to get his uh, his golems now. The J4 pathing this game is very interesting. He went red gromp. I mean, sorry, blue gromp, red gank, golems. What do you think about that clear? Uh, do you like it? I mean, I think the biggest issue is um, 
your camp's gonna be desynced. Yeah, he's he's kind of fucked himself in the jungle for like at least like two yeah. rotations now. Because now he wants to fight for this for the gro this uh the crab. But he's down, he's, is already full cleared. Yeah, he's down a level. Oh oh, Kha'Zix does miss the W. Just a single for J4 to get one, but he is he's isolated. But his team is here to back him up. But even with even so, Kha'Zix can just recall and. Sprint the top lane crab. If J4 tries to contest that, like his camps are still not synced. Like it. Yeah. That was a decent save there, but he's still behind. Because now, yeah, Kha'Zix is going to sprint right for this crab top lane. Yeah, and then he can he he'll be able to <laughs> full clear bot again. Sims just deciding to flash. Whoa, that was close. The ghost was popped by Toddy. Sims wisely chose to just run because he knew he was going to win that from the beginning. <clears throat> I think I see a blue ping to uh, the Scuttle Crab. I think they, they know he went for that. Kha'Zix's playing with fire right now. He just hit the, the, the scrying plant. They yeah. know he's there. Uh, oh, very Sims, Sims knows. Oh, no. I guess... I'm just dropping the ward. I guess he didn't see it then. But I mean, th this Kha'Zix is just getting farther and farther ahead. Steals the camp too. That that really hurts J4. I mean, Ka yeah. just, Kha'Zix just oh, he's just recalling. Down. What's he recalling with? Recalling with a thousand, eleven hundred? What's he gonna buy? I guess he can buy boots or components. Imagine, yeah, imagine pick. pickaxe. Ah, pickaxe two pinks. Yikes! That 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 stings. Can't even get boots. Once he has free ass boots. Does he have free ass boots? He does have free ass boots, okay cool. Alright, J4 gank attempt here. Divinity is already really low though. Ari does pop the ult. Gets Divinity's ult out in turn. I think Divinity should just ult the R. They would have killed her. 100%. I, I think I agree with you. Nautilus has to blow the flash. Kha'Zix is starting this dragon without Pryo. It's very... Oh... Exhaust. Oh, here comes the TP as well from Ari. They're fall. They're they're gonna follow this up. Looks like. Uh, they, they, I don't, they, I don't no, like they, this. They, okay. They get they're gonna get the kill, but they're gonna trade. 100 percent trade. Uh, or yep. There's so. Nala's got it. the kill, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. R I'm honestly not a fan of the Ari TP. Um. Cause that she just gave over a gave over a full wave to Lissandra. Lost uh, a level advantage too. Yeah. That is a dead Sims. Uh oh. Uh, good night, Sims. Good sidestep by the uh, divinity there. Very good. <clears throat> I I hope they don't do dragon. Just take scuttle. Please don't do dragon. He smited it, so I don't I don't think he will. Yeah. Uh, they are. Ash still hasn't based yet. Really wish this Ari would have taken, not gathering storm mana flow. She should have just taken like, free boots and demat. Just press B. Press B. Everybody press B. See here, yeah, Ash is sitting on 2400. Why are you still in lane? And Kha'Zix can just go back and full clear bot again, and on the reset, they can push out bot wave and just go to dragon. So, do just... you like this team map by from Kha'Zix? I think it's, you should just gotta leave out. It's the it's it's an uh, what's his name? Agu Agu Aguarian? Guarian? It's the Aguarian the charm goes build. really wide. Lots of kill. 
No, flash or flash, okay. Very close. Kha'Zix and Braum coming mid lane. Uh, Divinity, you better run. That's too late. I think you might be dead. Kha'Zix is isolated damage here. Gets the Q. Oh, there it is. But I think, does he go down? No, he's fine. Not quite. J4 looking for a possible cleanup, but he's not level 6. He could kill the Ari. Ari is flashless and no ult. J4 does have... I would have flashed Ari. I would have flashed EQ'd her in a heartbeat. She's got no way to get out of that. Kha'Zix is like one health. He can't do anything either. But I respect the shoe for not doing it. He, he's... It is game 3. This Braum roaming is uh, is actually huge. Kha'Zix is uh, playing really greedy, I feel like. Uh, Sam's my friend. They're gonna go at, they should get the trade back. Uh, oh my but... god, what is this champion? I... Okay, nice. you trade back, but Kha'Zix is gonna go ahead and get a double kill. So I saw some early talk about Toddy talking about he's the best top laner in the league. I mean, he's playing pretty well all three games. Get pops the ghost bot lane again. Got about a 2k gold lead at the moment. Almost 3k. Call it 2400. Or 2500. Alright, Ari spins the ult to get away from the Sandra. <clears throat> Meanwhile, they are doing Herald. They're gonna they're gonna drop this top. Looks like. Hmm. Nope. Kazik's gonna counter angle a bit first before he top. If he drops this top, poor Sims. Everyone just pour one out for Sims. Sims is getting used and abused this game. Okay, Kazik is not opting to. The, the the animal that he should be. Ari is playing very very unsafe without her ultimate. She's got no flash. She could just be dead here. Uh yeah. Did oh. Lissandra just ult Jarvin? No, you can't uh no, you can't. That's what I I just it looked like she ulted Jarvin. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Is that a dead Sims again? I think so. Yeah, oh my yep. goodness. He just got booped. I mean, that is a strong Gwen. I mean, it doesn't help that Sims is building armor. Sims, what are you doing? There is. So, so if you want to get. Um, Bommies Cinder. Bommies. You can build Bommies. You don't complete it, though. The problem is he needs both armor and MR now because Gwyn and Kha'Zix are both huge. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's yeah. Why you but go right the... now you're playing for lane though is the problem. Yeah, like, and because you're playing for lane, you're playing for MR. As soon as you get out of lane phase, you're more likely to want to build armor. Oh, here he comes but... exhaust. Kaisa gets exhausted as well. Oh, that is really unfortunate. Adi, that was a really good try. Very unfortunate that Nala's 
gets <laughs> another kill. That is gonna be. That so might this is, be this top is this tower epic gone. This is second dragon to Crown Gaming though. Crown Gaming might be falling behind on kills and. It is. But. Mountain. Mountain Soul is actually really. It was really good for them. But that's more the plates going though, to the is, Gwen. The problem is this Gwen's gonna be unleashed soon. And I don't know if Clown Gaming will be able to get the next couple dragons. Once this Gwen takes top over, she's just gonna go bot. They're gonna they should lane swap. Throw mid top lane and throw their bot lane mid and put Gwen bot. Charm does land. You know, Adi Sean is uh, kind of frustrated right now. If he had those two kills, he he might have a BF sword. In his inventory. Or close to it. We're seeing a pseudo Wayne swap with the Orin and the Lissandra here. Trying to trying to get that better matchup for the for the Orin. I mean he's still CSing. Okay. <clears throat> Unfortunately, they, they kind of dropped the ball at the Rift Herald. Did Ari build Everfrost in the previous game as well? Nope. <laughs> Don't think so. Okay, because I would have thought this is a Leandri's game. Definitely uh, a Leandri's game. Yep. You're not looking to pick anyone with Ari. Well, your charm is follow up to Ash, but you're not looking for the CC, and the fights are going to be long if you're oh, already. Oh, oh. Go wide. Oh, baby. Still gets the kill, but. but that is. Ay, ay, ay. And now it's being forced. Uh -oh. The RP is getting get picked here. That's one for one. Hey, so J4. Far. All right, Adi Sean, show us what you got, baby. Oh. They get the Poor shot down Adi, on the Kha'Zix, but the Ash. Uh, Adi Sean can uh, get himself kills. a kill. This is so tragic. It, 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 it's, <laughs> it, it's a loss for Clown Gaming, not just because of the team fight, but because Gwen got another turret. Yeah, this Gwen runs this game. Basically, Gwen and Ash run this game. And then you've got a Kha'Zix there as well. It's uh, it's a bit rough. I guess we'll see. The, the team don't... fight is really gonna have to carry somehow. I don't like the Ludens by. The Sandra. I feel I just... like should have gone Crown or Everfrost. It, it's definitely. To me, it's an Everfrost game. I think it's Everfrost Zonias. That's the that, that's probably the best build you've got here. Like, I feel like if you're if you're fed, you know, going Ludens is one thing, but you're you're not fed. You're even with your opponent, literally almost exactly even. It's okay. Clown just plays for Drake. Just play for Soul. Drake's in about 40 seconds. And they're already <laughs> there prepping, which is good. Yeah, they got a lot of vision on this. And they already, they're just like the Braum had to flash out and use his ultimate already. Do they. No, J4, don't do it. Oh my god. This madman. 
Ops feeling really desperate. They get the first kill. Kha'Zix is super low, but Gwen showed up at... Gwen just... Yep, goodbye. She's still got R3. That's what I mean. They they shouldn't have blown everything for the the, the Braum. Like, yep. I get you're desperate for the ki for the for the play, but you got his flash. You got his ultimate. All right, let him go. It's just yep. it's just Braum. Well, two two other important points to note on that is already was in base when that happened. So technically, even with the pick, it was a four v it was a lost four v five. And now they get a free Rift Herald drop and a, and the dragon. Yep. I mean, Clown, Clown Gaming just feels really desperate to get something here. So, you know, I, you can understand why they go for it. It's just a little too far. A little too desperate. Yeah, tower diving well, well, with J4, I, I don't... I don't... Yeah. I think it's the tower not, dive was unintentional, play. though. It was just... The, the, it was too cl no. slightly too close to tower with the ultimate. EQ'd into the tower range, though. Like, come on. Like, that, that's clearly... Like... I, I, I can't. I can't really defend that. <laughs> I tried. I couldn't. My my jungler does it to me all the time on J4, and it drives me fucking nuts. Like why why you why you EQing at the tower? No no don't do it, that. It, you're you're right though Northward. Like it, it's the desperation play, but like that's the worst target to pick. Literally yeah. on their team, Braum is the worst target to pick, especially since he has Locket. Yeah. Like pick anybody else. Well, you're probably not picking Gwen, but pick anyone. <laughs> I mean, I'm okay with them dogpiling on Gwen, but <clears throat> not they have to the, kill not her. at this point. You dogpile no, on no, no. Gwen. Gwen stands up on top of that pile. Hey, Adam, they have a lot of CC. Maybe they could kill her before. Okay, good. Give the kill to Kaisa. I was trying not to use her ultimate there. That there goes the stopwatch though. Hopefully that oh, zone. That is a forty-two hundred gold lead in the top lane. Is that what we call a top diff, or is that what we call a top diff? Ah. Uh... Gwen can just do whatever she wants. Is there anything Sems can even build to like Not help at, this, at point. this point? He just needs to go. I mean, he needs to go just go supportive. Oh no, they're okay. No, no he's fine. He's fine. Here's the Gwen dog pile. In. Oh, they got her. Oh, that was wrong. No, they, no, they didn't. Gwen, no, Gwen they wins didn't. this. Gwen wins this. <laughs> yep. And that's an ace. Hey, Sims got shut down. <laughs> yeah, let's go Sims. Is that a Baron rush? That is a Baron rush. I don't know. I don't know, would, would you guys call it a draft gap? I think it was more of a misplayed in early game. I think there were a lot of misplays. Um, Kha'Zix got ahead, Gwen got a, you know, Gwen got solo kills early. Um, the jungle pathing was really weird. Yeah. Yeah, jungle then, pathing then, was really bizarre. And then there was the, the, what, there were two plays top lane that looked like okay until an additional person showed up and then them just gave a kill to Gwen and now then Gwen took the game over. Yeah, I mean... I, mean, I, mean, I think they can still win. I think they can still win. It is Kai'Sa. Like, they're... Once they get ornaments, you know, like, they have second ornament coming up soon. Um, I think they could... Like, Kai'Sa will get her ornament here and then... Like, put it this way. Hound Gaming just has to win really like one fight, realistically. And if, if uh, they get enough objectives, they I, can maybe. I think at this point back. we're 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 at like two to three fights. And it, and they probably require 
this next the next dragon if they yeah. don't get the next dragon like that that is their only win condition right now i don't think hitting their hopes on like a 20 or 10 percent team fight that they can hopefully win against a gwen that's this fed an ash that's this fed and a kha'zix that's this fed is is the right way to think about it yeah i, think I don't they have to go for the dragon soul and that's their only win condition i don't envy adi shan right now <clears throat> um no, he he's in he's in trouble. He, they need to somehow manage to give him all of the farm, but he also cannot deal with Gwen. The problem is, if he makes one misstep, he dies instantly. That too. But they are running a pick comp, so. Hmm. Oh, whoops, wrong button. Speaking of which, if if they're running a pick comp, shouldn't Nautilus have built Locket? I'm not sure. I don't really play support anymore. I've given up that mantle. But I do think Locket is kind of strong. <laughs> there goes another dragon. Yeah, let's go Radiant Virtue. Um, ornament already ready for sevens. I agree with that purchase. Uh oh, Lissandra's caught. There goes Lissandra Flash, and there goes Gwen Ghost. Oh. Clo oh my gosh. Yep. Exhaust just a little too oh late. Oh my gosh. It's a three item Gwen. Three item Gwen. Um, Baron has run out, <laughs> at least, <coughs> so I don't think they can end the game off this. I don't think game is over, but base is broken into, and they could potentially get two in hymns. And how does BOL work? Do they have like, is this like a play-in series or is it just like a flat out? This is a regular series. This is okay. like week four. I think Gwen wins this. <laughs> Gwen is just gonna murder them all. Yeah. Adi Shang dies to the R. It looks like. That is going to be Hyperion Gaming's first win. Series win and BOL the split. They take a two to one series score over Clown Gaming. Good effort, everybody. Good effort. Fortunately, Sims didn't get to showcase his trademark Quinn, which I think everyone in competitive knows they keep banned. Holy Gwen damage. Uh, just a casual 33k damage. Just a casual, yeah. Goodness casual. gracious. 33k damage in 20... 26 minutes. Six minutes. So, congrats to Hyperion Gaming for, for picking up the first series win of BOL to split. Uh, if Clown Gaming, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get him next time. We'll, uh... Yep. GG's, everybody. Thank you everybody for coming out and uh, and watching the stream. Um, yeah, I don't know. Any 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 last thoughts from 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 the uh, the casters? Just uh, thanks for having us watch the games. It was fun. Thanks for hanging some, out. Uh, some fun fun interactions. And we got the clown on Sims a little bit, and that's always fun. Oh, absolutely. If you're not clowning on I mean, Sims, what are you doing? <laughs> I mean, he named his org Clown Gaming, so... Exactly. So, I think... I think everyone played pretty well. It's just unfortunate that Clown Gaming 
didn't get the W, of course, as we are clown gaming folks. We do love our clowns, custodians. We love you guys. You'll get them next time. Next week, come back. We got this. Is there a uh, a playoffs for BOL coming up? Is it, is it a 12 week? Uh, uh, I'd have to pull up the. Uh, okay. I had it up and, earlier. Yeah, I did. I've got the document here. Schedule, yeah. schedule, schedule, schedule. Looks like it is a seven week, seven week regular series and then playoffs. So that's halfway point done. Uh, Clown Gaming now one and three. Hyperion improves to one and three. Something like that. And is playoffs top six or something or? Uh, no clue. Okay. Well, there's there's, there's two leagues, Zon and Piltover, it looks like. And there's uh, sport... any BOLers in the chat that can uh, can tell us that that'd be great because uh, I have no clue. I will find out later, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> All right, guys, with that, I'm going to go to bed. You have a good night, everybody. Peace and out. And I'll see you around. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Have a good Lux one. Enjoy your... Stone North. Good yeah. night. Good night. Good night, buddy. I, about to say, I just think I'm, I'm gonna let this play out music play out for a little bit let people catch up if they need to and, and then I'll go ahead and end stream here in a little bit so thanks for thanks for joining no problem thanks for having me I didn't yeah. think I would be available to join at all so <laughs> yeah no I, I yeah if, yeah if you're ever free definitely uh, definitely definitely jump in I'll have to see what my schedule's got. Wednesdays are usually the worst days for me, so we're lucky today. Lovely. Well, happy to have you. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. We'll talk soon. Yep. Peace. Peace, Northward. <laughs>